close your eyes put your palm together say this was just for three minutes every morning and wash the secret of unending abundance and manifestation of your heart desires do this just for three minutes every morning and wash by god's grace in today's video i want to teach you a manifestation secret you will tap into in order to bring into existence everything you want especially in this month of our mighty manifestation assurance believe me mighty miracle assurance is sure if only you will follow me to the end of today's video i will teach you this secret you need to be applying every day of this month and believe me everything you ever desire will, will come to pass like i normally told you in this channel now we are creative being god has finished creating everything that he wanted to create and leave us behind to complete the work of creation by creating more things and that is why at the garden of eden after making man he breathed his energy his strength and vibration inside the man giving man that opportunity to create and like i know i told you that your the the things you desire whatever is your need is already, already existing spiritually all you need to do is to bring it into manifestation by creating it by adding one secret or the other which if you will follow me to the end of today's video i will show you that secret you will use to bring whatever you desire in this month into manifestation so welcome once again to jenny action tv in this particular channel i'll discuss three important variables which actually help safety and spirituality believe me if you can understand and apply this three correctly in your life the sky will not be your limit it becomes your starting point if this is the very first time you're landing in this channel you're highly welcome please do have to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so that youtube will always notify you once i upload a new video for my returning subscribers i love you so much thank you for always stopping by for my new timer if you are searching for any video all you need to do is go through the search button in youtube type jenny action tv slide the keyword of the video you are looking for for example favor you will get the videos i've made on that particular topic you watch and get some values so we are actually wasting your time let's delve into the video but before then please give this video a thumbs up god bless you as you do so you need to understand this fact first of all that the power of your creativity lies more in your subconscious now when you finish sleeping and you are waking up immediately like i have shared in this channel spiritual benefit of sleeping when you are sleeping your angels is working on you almighty god is working on you unseen forces that is actually working with you are actually working on you and when you wake up especially between 3 to 5 a.m or you have wake up for the day there is a new energy that you are waking up with and this new energy is what is pushing you from subconscious to conscious because when you we are sleeping you are unconscious and then from unconscious you are coming from subconscious to consciousness now the, the main energy for creativity and your ability to bring what you want is existing in your subconscious that is why you should be careful of what you are saying because man is tripartite being your spirit is what brings into existence what you manifest physically now in that your subconscious states as you are coming alive back into this world you are carrying a lot of energy a lot of grace a lot of power where you have not actually talked to anybody now whatever you say at that particular time matters a lot now you are going to be utilizing that time of waking up to do a powerful manifestation now remember that when you wake up for the first time like i've made in this video don't always jump out of your bed because your energy level is very very low and when you jump out like that sometimes it might lead to untimely death so when you are awake or maybe you stayed for a minute or at least 30 seconds on your bed then you step down your right foot on your bed add your left foot and then open your palms look into it and then the next thing you will do is think about that certain problem you have before you think about that thank god almighty it is not easy to sleep and wake up 
You appreciate God and say, oh God, the creator of the universe, I appreciate you for making it possible that I am alive today. Because a lot of people who slept never wake up, but you wake up. And then when you thank God, you also acknowledge your guardian angel that thank God for all my guardian angel and all the unseen forces that actually helped me to wake up. Thank God, the Father, God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit because appreciation and gratitude is the best attitude and your attitude determines your altitude. Now, when you have thanked God, the same way that you normally pray, put your hands together. You know, when you put your hands together, every human being you see in this world have both masculine and feminine energy. That is why there are certain things that will happen to you as a woman. It, what you cannot do ordinarily as a, a woman, you see yourself do it. Let's assume that you are married and your husband is not at home and suddenly armed robber broke into your house and want to take advantage of any of your child. Masculine power will come upon you immediately. You may do what you never thought that you were able to do by and disarm that particular arm robber. So every human being you see have that masculine ability. So now, by the time you put your hands together, you are in a kind of pushing both your masculine and feminine ability together. I know what, what happens when female and male gender come together creation, manifestation, bringing a new life into existence happens. So when you put it together, you put it close to your chest, the same way you pray to the almighty God, then close your eyes and focus on your God that you are praying to God. And then remember that particular thing that assuming that you are just before God right now and he's asking you, what exactly do you want me to do for you? That particular person need it will just be one. Don't manifest what to more than one. Then if it is money you need, you now remember that money. And then when you remember it, you begin to affirm. I have told you once time with your number that you manifest what you are, not what you want. If you look, you are looking for money and you are seeing poverty everywhere, you will manifest poverty. If you want to marry and you are seeing singleness everywhere, spinsterhood everywhere, you will only manifest spinsterhood. So when you close your eyes, begin to visualize money. See money all around you if it is money you want. If it is marriage you want, see yourself wedding. So the next thing you will do, you begin to confess it. Confess according to that thing you need. I have money. I have my building completed. I have won this court case. I have married. But based on the exact thing that is your desire, you begin to mention that particular one. Don't go and lump to desire. Maybe you will notice that you have not been selling in your shop. You now mention, I have many customers today. I will sell as never before. And probably, maybe you want a new relationship. You wish to get married. You want a new job. Oh, I have new job. I have new job. I have gotten my... That particular thing, I am into a new relationship. So that particular thing, you say it at least three times. So when you say it as three times, you take a deep breath. That deep breath, you like you take that deep breath three times, like you are relaxing that actually this thing is already coming. Then when you have relaxed, the next thing you will do is say, Thank God that I have this particular thing. So if it is money, thank God I have gotten enough money. I have enough money to complete my building. Thank God that I am a winner in this court case. Maybe that particular day you have court case to attend. Thank God that I am into a new relationship. Thank God that I am pregnant to give birth to my own child. Based on the particular need, thank God I have many customers to sell to. Thank God that what I want is already here. Thank God it is mine. You, think, you say it three times. Believing, trusting, and having that focus that you have already gotten it. Because God himself, whom you are praying to, 
whom you are serving is able. If you look at your own ability, you will fail. Don't think of where that particular thing will come from. Don't think of whether what you are looking for is possible or not. Just believe it that it is already possible. And when you do that, feel relaxed as if the burden of that particular problem has been lifted off your shoulder. And then go and do your normal morning devotion. Pray your prayers and then read your Bible and do the rest of the things you do for the day and go go out for your business or your or work with that particular energy, happiness, and joy that you have already gotten what you want. Before you know it, it will be like Psalm 126. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we are like then that dream. That particular thing you desired, you prayed, it will be like dream when it will just manifest. You continue doing it. Make it, let me tell you, spirituality is a lifestyle. Make it your lifestyle. Every morning, you get one intention. If you have manifested this, bring out another intention. One thing about this world is that so long as we are in this world, we must have one challenge or the other. That is actually what makes us human. And I told you one thing that God hates murmurers and complainers. So instead of complaining, lamenting, why are you in this problem? Why will it be you that is in this problem? Create the solution. You have the ability. You have the capacity. You have the, the what it takes. This is one thing that God even before Esau was born in this way, he says, so I hate Jacob I love because Esau don't know how to create. Instead, Esau has to sell his birthright just because of food, just because he needed a kind of um, food to quench his thirst. But he never knew that he has the capacity to bring food into existence without actually messing with his birthright. And that particular day he sold his birthright was actually the day he lost the patriarchal blessings. So, you don't need to go out of your way to do something that is wrong. By the time you do it like this, you have put God to test because you have put your faith in action because faith is the spiritual currency. We used to buy everything we need into this world. We die of faith. God has no choice but to cooperate with the universe and your guardian angel to find out what you need and bring it at your beck and call. Go and try this. Make it a habit just this month and watch how your life will be. So if you're if you are going to try it, please drop in the comment section. And believe me, the Almighty God will back you up to bring whatever you need to manifestation. So with this, I've actually come to the end of today's video. Believing that someone has actually found value. If you are one of them, why not give this video a thumbs up? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. Hit the bell notification so as to get my next upload. Comment on this video. Share this video and channel to everyone. You might actually be helping a lot of people. As you do so, may God bless you, honor you, cause you to ride upon the high places of this earth. Stay your lady, Jenny. Stay you. Bye-bye.